Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll start with Tom. Uh, Tom, back at Silverstone, the sun is shining. Not perhaps the weekend that you wanted in Moscow with uh, the problems that you had, but only four points still. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say you've got your fans, but it looks like they're supporting uh, the other, uh, the other this is a cameo this weekend, so he's got... Uh, He's got his uh, crowning. Good to see you guys. Uh, hope you're going to be sticking around for uh, for the weekend. So, uh, Tom, back to uh, back to uh, to things at hand uh, this weekend. Looking for another double victory uh, to add to what uh, what you managed to bag at Donington. Yeah, I think so. That would be that would be the best scenario. So, like you said, Moscow wasn't worked well. It was far from ideal. We had uh, obviously a technical problem, and um, yeah, I all of a sudden made it all a lot worse than it was through a little bit of anger, so uh, yeah, moving on, I'm uh, looking forward to Silverstone, Silverstone's a circuit I enjoy riding, I think the, uh, you know, we've, we've not got the straight line speed as, you know, some of the other manufacturers, but overall the ZX10 r is, is very consistent and we have a good base setting, so I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, to a good fight again, you know, it should be, it should be a good weekend and hopefully we're here, you hooks down, we're talking, yes! <laughs> well, I bet your back's booted, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, so <laughs> hey, oops, he's left, he's left a, a small mess on there as well. Um, so overall, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to getting the weekend underway. If we can have weather like this, it's even uh, a bigger bonus. Okay, thanks, uh, thanks, Tom. Uh, I never know what's going to what's going to happen when you guys are on stage, but um, I'm dreading what's going to happen uh, when we get further along the line. So moving on then to uh, to Eugene Larrity. Eugene, um, strong performance uh, for you in the early part of the race at Moscow. Um, we're back at the Silver Sun. What are you looking forward to uh, the most this weekend, and uh, can you take the fight to uh, to Tom and to Marco? <laughs> Have you guys actually got a, a, a shirt for each of these guys? Yeah? <laughs> and boys will stick well tonight. So, yeah, Moscow started well for us, but coming in race, um, I didn't want to get wet, so I thought I'd jump off the thing. <laughs> but it didn't work out too well. Zero points, two races in a row, and came on hands, Moscow, and that's five DNS in the first half of the season, which is not a, a record to home to improve on, really. You know, that's, that's enough of that. And, it's time to get some volumes. Hey, okay, look forward to it. Uh... <laughs> they, they're giving me, they've been giving me drinks since Moscow. I went over to help Leon out of the gravel, and he said, I'm all right. That's how I walked on. They've been finding me up since, that I didn't help him. <laughs> I tried to, but he wouldn't let me. Good stuff, uh, good luck this weekend, YouTube. We'll move on then to, uh, to Chaz Davies, uh, resurgent Chaz Davies, with uh, a great performance by you last time out. I know that it's, uh, it's uh, on camera, uh, you look like uh, you were satisfied with the second, but uh, we know that you, uh, that you wanted to win that race in Moscow. Can you, uh, can you do the job on this weekend? Uh, I, was, uh, I, was, I was pretty happy with just being on the podium in, uh, in Moscow. It's been pretty much all season that I haven't been on the podium there, it feels like uh, since Aragon. But I was good to be back and uh, not just being on the box, but showing uh, the pace that we did in the dry, I think was kind of uh, put us back to where we should be and thanks to a couple of a couple of setup changes which we went in the right direction. Um, so yeah, just look forward to it this weekend. Uh, I can't really say I know the place very well in Super Light with the wet races that we had last year, but um, I don't mind the track, so you get stuck in and uh, see what happens. Thank you, Charles. We'll move on then to, uh, to to Ducati's uh, Carlos Checker. Carlos, uh, we return to Silverstone, a circuit that you've uh, had a double victory uh, in the past, albeit on the, uh, the 1198. But with the... You've also got a t-shirt. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but with the, uh, the progress that you and the Ducati team are making, and with Ed and, and securing the first Panigale podium, you must be confident uh, of the two races this weekend. Yeah, this year we're really struggling a lot, uh, but uh, we always try to be as much professional as we can and try to reset and looking forward. No, of course, here is a drive we really, I really like. I feel always comfortable. Uh, the past was really good. 
Uh, but now we start in a different situation. No, we will try to do our best. I think we will collect some good points in Misano Test and also in Russia, even the final level wasn't good. And we'll see if we can put it here all together and make a better race. We can be uh, with the other guys uh, compete for some, something more enthusiastic than our races. Okay, thank you, Carlos. We move on then to, uh, to Leon Camio for the 67 Suzuki team. Yes, boys. <laughs> Leon, uh, back in Silverstone uh, this weekend, the second time uh, that we've been in Britain uh, this weekend. Similar to Carlos, really, your season, uh, a lot of progress being made within the team. What are you hoping for uh, this weekend in terms of results? And what do you think is realistic for you and the team? That's a difficult question. This, it feels like this year, some places where we've been fast last year, doesn't mean we're going to be okay this year. It's like things have changed quite a bit and um, yeah it's not been it's not been a smooth year at all to be honest we've had a lot of little problems and things that haven't helped us that have sort of been out of our control and yeah it's just really frustrating to be honest but yeah the, last year this track was good for us so we can only hope it is again um, yeah just see what happens we've just got to deal with everything as it comes hopefully we can just make a good weekend have a smooth weekend no big problems and uh, yeah see where we are now well, we see you with one of these pink t-shirts on the podium if you uh, do have a good video. Oh, get on there. Yes. <laughs> okay, thanks, uh, thanks, Leon. We'll move on to uh, another, another Leon there. Uh, Leon, first of all, can I just say on behalf of everybody who wants to like, have a fantastic uh, victory for you at the Suzuki Great Towers with your teammate Michael Vandermark. A special feeling in what's been uh, a difficult season for you. Yeah, no, it's uh, definitely been a tough season and uh, you know, to get a win at Suzuki Hour is one thing that you know everyone wants to do, so it was a, definitely I was a happy man on Sunday night. Um, but no, as far as my side of it, um, we're making good progress with the leg and uh, in Moscow it was a bit of tough conditions, but you know, I was battling for the podium until uh, Eugene took me out. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, joking aside, you know, we are making good progress and uh, we're getting back to where I know I can be and um, you know, if like say a bit of home support we can have a good go. Okay, thanks Leon. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, some of the stars of World Superbike here for you today. Okay, so well, what we're going to do now is uh, we will ask uh, all of the riders, with the exception of uh, Leon Haslam, to, uh, to leave the stage. Thank you very much guys, have a safe weekend. Always good talking to you here at the media event. Let's give it then for Tom Tai, Susie Laverty, Chad Staley. Leon Camio and Carlos Tecker, please stick around guys because we have some other riders and we also have something very special uh, about to happen on stage now so Leon, don't look so worried, it's not that bad. And we'll just take a second to also welcome the other half of the uh, Pata Honda World Superbike team to the stage. So let's please welcome Jonathan Ray. And please keep me round of applause going because I'd also like to welcome onto the stage the team principal of the Pata Honda World Superbike stage. He's looking very surprised because he's not sure what's happening either. Ronald T. Carter. Okay, now as I'm sure that uh, some of you, uh, some of you avid followers of World Superbikes will be aware, both uh, Leon's wife, uh, Ollie, and Jonathan's wife, uh, Tash, are expecting children, and uh, they're due imminently, so uh, I'm hoping that they're not going to win today very second, because I will not have a clue what to do, and it will, uh, will probably go all Pete Tom. But uh, we have, uh, on behalf of Honda, um, a couple of little presents, um, and Ronald, uh, if you could just present these uh, to Jonathan and to Leon. And uh, maybe if, uh, if the two guys with Ronald, maybe just in the middle, if you could just show these to the camera, and uh, unfortunately, Leon Jonathan, you're not going to have the privilege of opening these because we do. Can we just take a quick picture? <laughs> and what we're going to do now, and uh, this is a big surprise to, uh, to everybody here, we'd also like to now welcome Ollie and Tash onto the stage. And we thought we could have a Pata Honda pit lane race to see who could open the presents the fastest. <laughs> Let's go. Jonathan looks like he hasn't got a clue what's going on. <laughs> It's a bump first. <laughs> okay, and we have little, uh, little Ava Haslam as well onto, uh, onto the stage. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for, uh, for Ollie, uh, Ollie Haslam and, uh, and Tasha Ray. Okay, and uh, 
if you two uh, lovely ladies would like to, uh, to open these uh, open these presents, and uh, we can then get to get a picture. <laughs> Wow. Okay, I don't know if you want to just hold that up so everybody can see those. These are replica baby grows. Um, Jonathan is a replica of Jonathan's letters, complete with all of his sponsors, decals, and the same for, uh, for Leon's as well. So, on behalf of Pat Underwood Superbike for, uh, for the eminent birth of Jonathan, I do any second now. So, that's a little present for uh, for you guys. Uh, wish you all, uh, obviously all the very best with the, with the birth and uh, good luck with all of that breathing. <laughs> okay, if you're talking about the happy, we can ask these riders to leave the stage and then we'll bring on to the stage some of the riders from World Super Sports. So, um, yeah. so uh, thank you Jonathan, thank you Tash, thanks uh, Ollie. Ronald and uh, Leo. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. We wish them well this weekend. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please do come around and uh, make, uh, make it uh, your home here in the paddock show this weekend. If you get right into the middle, uh, you will actually uh, be able to see everything that uh, is going on. So first of all, let's welcome to the stage the rider that is currently leading the World Super Sport Championship uh, for Yakish Motorsport Yamaha. He took a victory at Donington. He's looking to make it two wins out of two here in the United Kingdom. Britain Sam Lowe! Keep the round of applause going. He was second in last year's British Super Sport Championship, and uh, I know that he's turning uh, turning a lot of heads as one of the revelations of this year's World Super Sport Championship for the River Moto Honda team. Jack Kennedy. And finally, in terms of our permanent riders uh, for the Kawasaki DMC Lorenz ZE team, a rider that's led some races this year, been a little bit unfortunate, but he's very, very fast and he's looking to put his season back on track this weekend. Kev Coughlin! <laughs> As I said, we have a couple of wildcard riders this weekend in the World Super Sport Championship, and they're both riding in the British Super Sport, the Motor Point British Super Sport Championship for the same team. So let's please welcome the rider that's currently fourth in this year's championship, Australian Billy McConnell. Yeah. And the reigning British Super Sport Championship, he put it on the front row at Donington. Can he do the same this weekend? Glenn Richards. Yeah. Okay, Sam, so we'll start with you. I've noticed a few children present, so please try and keep it clean. Yeah. I know it's going to be difficult for you, but uh, Sam, we arrived uh, back at Silverstone then, the second half of the championship in what for you has been a pretty dream season. Ah yeah, it's going, uh, it's going not bad at the minute. Uh, obviously it was nice to get the win in Donington, the home race, and hopefully we can uh, try and do it again here. But you know, the last three races have been quite good for me and, uh, and the team's working good, the bike's working good, so hopefully the weather will stay like this and we can have another good weekend. Now you weren't here earlier, but it was a team of uh, fans with pink shirts and uh, there was a number 11, albeit skin marks all over the back of it. So I don't quite know what happened with that, but uh, that's not like number 11 to crash, is it? <laughs> not this year. Let's move on then to, uh, to Jack Kennedy. Jack, uh, I hope you won't mind me saying that uh, I think you are one of the revelations of the, uh, the World Super Sport Championship this year. A lot of people uh, have uh, really sat up and taken notice of the performance that you and the River Morsel team are doing. How are you adapting to, uh, to life now uh, in the World Super Sport Park? And uh, what are you expecting this weekend? Uh, yeah, I suppose it's been difficult to adapt. Um, big step up from British Super Sport with the uh, long races and the, the hot countries, but uh, loving uh, every minute of it. Um, um, just it's gone really well with the remote on the team. And, they're doing a great job and really looking forward to getting out this track so we can go quick straight away. So it's great to get out of the track that we know. 
Okay, and uh, we'll move along then to, uh, to Kev, Kev Cogman. Kev, I hope you won't mind me saying that uh, you know, you've been extremely fast at a number of races. There's a couple of races you've been leading and looking to, to tip, but uh, when everything goes right, there's no reason that, uh, that you can't be challenging Sam and, and, and Kane and the guys at the front. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've had a few good runs this year, just uh, and a bit bothered staying on the thing, but uh, the team's been like, working really well for me. Like, they just keep saying, you know, keep pushing, and uh, the results are coming in, so yeah, that's it. We're just going to keep on pushing as hard as we can. And, like, Silverstone's a good track, somewhere we know, and uh, hopefully we'll be back on the front like we've been a couple of times. Excellent, we look forward to uh, look forward to seeing that. We move on into Billy McConnell for the Smith Triumph team. Billy, like your, uh, your teammate uh, Glenn, you, uh, you wild carded at uh, Donington with uh, some relative success. What's the biggest difference that you find in terms of when you come onto the World Series? We all know that the Motor Point British Super Sport Championship is, is a tough series. You guys uh, have put in some fantastic performances. But what's the biggest difference that you found in the wild card races that you've done? Uh, yeah, it's really tough to reach, but the world's even tougher. You know, really competitive in the World Championship um, with the traction control and then a little bit more advancement. But um, you know, we're just happy, me and Glenn are just really happy to come here on the two side and try to develop a little bit more and uh, you know, try our best to uh, get up where these boys are. And I've raised Jack and Sam before and we're getting with you now. It's really good. Good stuff. So we'll move on then to, uh, to Glenn, the reigning uh, Motor Point British Super Sport Champion. Glenn, first of all, never had a chance to speak to you at uh, Donington officially, uh, but uh, congratulations on the front row. But then it all kind of went a little bit wrong uh, in the race. But you're back to full fitness now, and uh, must be confident that you've been putting a similar performance this weekend. Yeah, um, first, first time at this racetrack with our new bike, and uh, you know, we're using it as a big test session, and you know, it doesn't mean that we're not going to be trying 100%. And the, uh, it's nice when you do these wild cards, you can sort of can throw caution to the wind a little bit because you're not involved in the championship. So, um, you know, I'll certainly be giving my best shot. And, uh, you know, uh, if we are at the front, I'll be, I'll be very happy to be at the front. And I won't try not to get too involved in other people's championships. But, um, you know, we're, we're, we are using this as a, as a sort of a prelude to coming here with our BSP championship. And, um, you know, there's no reason why we can't be uh, somewhere near the point here, I hope. And any plans uh, in the future for the Smith Triumph team to, uh, to make the jump full time to the World Championship? Uh, well, I think that's something that you know the team will want to move on, whether they go super bike or super sport or I don't know. You know that's um, something that, that they've been thinking about and pondering for a while. So we'll, we'll see. But certainly this year for me it hasn't been uh, that good. And I'm looking forward to the second half of the season being a bit stronger. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, some stars of World Super, uh, Super Sport and also some stars of British Super Sport. I'm sure that they will be giving you a fantastic race on Sunday at 1.30. So let's hear it then for Sam Lowe's the reigning uh, championship leader, Jack Kennedy, Kev Coleman, Finn McConnell and Glenn Richards. Thank you guys very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please do stick around for the next race and the next race will come ahead of Fred Park uh, about to be on stage to, uh, to talk to uh, not just these riders but also an autograph session. And uh, you're going to do that one of these races, I'm actually going to go over the edge. He's been trying all year, but he hasn't quite managed it. Please come back on Saturday for the Tissot Super Bowl press conference. And uh, of course, uh, please stick around today for the uh, autograph session with all of the riders. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend. Thank you very much.